no fair trial, no lawyers, not even a form of charges. Uh, many of the judges were paid uh, to convict people or bribed. And he was also appalled by the use of torture to get confessions, and he found this to be very inhumane. So, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this today is because, unfortunately, witch hunts are not uncommon in our time period as well. So these are all children from Nigeria. Um, Nigeria has some of the best documented cases of witchcraft hunts right now. So uh, most of my information is going to come from there. It is widespread around the world, but this is where the facts came from. Um, so this young lady here was burned by acid. These children are all homeless. And uh, this young man was attacked by his uncle with a machete. Um, so they have all been accused of witchcraft. And uh, it is estimated that nearly 15,000 children have been accused of witchcraft since 2000 in Nigeria. Nearly 1,000 have been killed. Uh, the UN estimates that throughout Africa, tens of thousands of children have been affected by this. Um, many of them are scarred with acid, caustic soda, beaten, made to drink poison. Or uh, there are cases where people have had their head punctured with nails. Um, this is usually either to perform exorcisms, to <coughs> mark them as witches, or basically fail attempts to, uh, to kill them. Um, usually, if children avoid this, they are at least sent away from their home. And so it's estimated that in the Congo, there's about 50,000 children that are on the streets because of this. So what's the reason for this huge increase of this suddenly coming around? Poverty. Well, um, there seems to be a perfect storm that people like this piece of work are taking advantage of. So this is Helen, I'm going to totally mispronounce her name, Ukpabio. Um, she is a minister at this Liberty Gospel Church in Nigeria, and as you can see by her advertisement here, um, she specializes in witchcraft and, and solving the problems of witchcraft. So basically what you have is a society that's already very superstitious, um, especially concerned about spirits, possessing people, doing things. Um, you have people that are very poorly educated, that are um, uh, impoverished, they're starving, and uh, also then into the system came a great increase in evangelical churches, uh, many from the Pentecostal system, uh, and they believe in the literal word of the Bible. And there's so many of these churches that they're actually competing for parishioners, uh, not only from each other, but also from the Catholic church that is bleeding people like crazy. Um, so they say, if you come to our church, we'll solve all your problems, you'll get money, we'll find all the witches in your area. And many of them also char charge exorbitant amounts for people for what they make in Africa um, to exercise people from the community. Um, now, children are not the only people that are suffering. Um, in other areas of Africa, Ghana and Tanzania, elderly women are the ones that are targeted. Um, many of them are forced from their homes or killed. Uh, this is usually because they can't defend themselves, they're very elderly, they're weak, and also because they tend to hold the possessions of the family. They live much uh, longer than their husbands, and then they have all the property, all the money, etc., and their children uh, or grandchildren want to take that away from them. And fortunately, uh, findings are similar in India, Papua New Guinea, Nepal. Um, there's also some cases in like Saudi Arabia and in Muslim countries, which usually have to do more with sorcery and that kind of thing. <coughs> Um, so, why is skepticism this important? Um, skeptics are familiar with sort of arguments. Um, a lot of them clearly are just logical fallacies, causation, <coughs> forces correlation, that sort of thing. Um, we can help use this to help educate the public and to also bring stories to the media. Uh, an example, in 2008, uh, BBC ran this uh, excellent documentary, which I recommend watching if you are interested in this, um, called Dispatches Saving Africa's Witch Children. Um, and this helped lead to the arrest of uh, this bishop called Sunday, uh, who was featured in the documentary, who had been a, who had stated that he had like killed hundreds of children, um, like through his exorcisms. Um, uh, also, skeptics are often linked uh, to their own organizations, or also humanist organizations. Um, the two that I've listed here: Stepping Stones for Nigeria and um, Children's Rights and Rehabilitation Network, which actually run uh, orphanages for homeless children. Um, they are all humanist organizations and they are trying to push for government involvement. Um, finally, this past year, the United Nations Commission for Refugees actually commissioned a report, and also in September, uh, the UN Human Rights Council held a seminar in the issue in uh, Geneva. And that's all I have for you. Awesome.
featured, uh, whatever her name is, I, I think DJ yes. may know, but she, so one of these pastors over there has sued CFI. Uh, yes, and it was I believe it was her. I believe she's also sued, like, the British Humanist Organization, um, which was uh, <coughs> featured in that documentary that yeah. I mentioned. Um, yeah, she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Say that the uh, diagram you have there of the uh, retractables. Oh yes. Now that's not a poker. That's a thing like a. It's, it's a little hand instrument about so big. My late friend Premanon uh, had a series of these things. The one on the right is used to present the illusion of sticking it through your tongue. Ah, there we go. The, the, the tongue fits into the slot the side, and you show it from one side, and it looks like it's sticking through your tongue. So they're not pokers, they're only about Yes, they're, they're yeah. rich pokers, it's yes. very small. Thank you. Amazing.